This is Standing Watch. And now, Evangelist Norbert Link. Greetings, and welcome to our Standing Watch program. No, I'm not going to talk about the coronavirus today. I am going to talk about a situation in the Middle East, which will be so much more devastating and dangerous and destructive than the coronavirus epidemic could ever be. I want to talk about events which will lead to what the Bible calls the Great Tribulation, a time so bad that if Jesus Christ was not to return to end it all, no human being would be saved alive. Now, what does the transformation of Aja Sophia have to do with all of that? Just to give you a background. Here's an article by the Associated Press dated July 10, saying, Built under Emperor Justinian, Aja Sophia was the main seat of the Eastern Orthodox Church for centuries, where emperors were crowned. The minarets were added later, and the building was turned into an imperial mosque following the 1453 Ottoman conquest of Constantinople, today known as Istanbul. The building opened its doors as a museum in 1935, a year after the Council of Ministers' decision. Mosaics depicting Jesus, Mary, and Christian saints that were plastered over in line with Islamic rules were uncovered through restoration work for the museum. Now, all of that changed now. Breaking Israel News reported on July 12 that on Friday a Turkish court annulled a 1934 ruling that turned the Aja Sophia into a museum, effectively paving the way for President Erdogan to fulfill its promise and his promise to turn the formerly Christian site into a mosque. Immediately after the court ruling, Erdogan, who of course has pretty much control of the court, signed a decree declaring Aja Sophia was now open to Muslim worship and the first prayers inside could take place on July 24. And Erdogan reiterated his claim that Aja Sophia was originally constructed as a mosque, but as we have just seen, that is not entirely correct at all. The Jerusalem Post wrote on July 11. Erdogan vowed to liberate Al-Aqsa Mosque from Israel after resurrecting Aja Sophia as a mosque on Friday. The resurrection of Aja Sophia announces the liberation of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Turkish presidency website says. This speech, which was in Turkish, was translated slightly differently to Arabic and English. In Arabic, the speech says that turning Aja Sophia into a mosque is part of the return of freedom to Al-Aqsa. Ankara's leadership believes that its changes to Aja Sophia are only one step of a larger religious militaristic agenda in the Middle East. Turkey could even aim its sights at Jerusalem. The speech about Aja Sophia clearly indicates this is on the agenda. Now, breaking Israel news reported on July 14, Erdogan just did to Aja Sophia what the Muslims did to the Temple Mount. They built a Muslim building on top of the ruins of the Jewish Temple. Now, if that doesn't open your eyes, Listen to this article by Newsmax, dated July 12. For Turkey's religious conservatives, converting the Aja Sophia is the ultimate moment. They believe in what they call the right of the sword, the right of the Ottomans to convert the church into a mosque as a result of 
conquest. Turkey has a sovereign right to do what it wants to. What will you say? If Israel does something to Al-Aqsa, will that also be the right of the sword? Of course, the right of the sword refers to violence, to conquest, to war. And the Bible does tell us that a war will break out in the Middle East, and Turkey will play a, an important role in this war. God says that he is very upset with Turkey for doing that, for fighting against Israel, but here is what is going to happen. The Bible prophesies that a third temple will be built on the Temple Mount at the place where Al-Aqsa is situated today, where the second temple stood. Now, can you imagine what is going to happen when all of this takes place? It is going to lead to the Great Tribulation. And you need to know what is in store. You need to know what is going to happen. We have prepared two free booklets which go into these events in much detail. Here's one, Middle Eastern and African Nations and Bible Prophecy. Now, this booklet goes into the history and the future of Turkey and explains in great detail what I have just alluded to today. And then here's another booklet, The Fallen Rise of the Jewish People. What is going to happen when the Jews are going to start building the Third Temple? thereby in all likelihood having to destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque first. Can you imagine the turmoil? Can you imagine the violence? Can you imagine all these powers trying to get involved in what the Bible calls the Great Tribulation? Now, you can get these booklets free of charge as hard copies, and you can also look at our website because they're all posted there and you can read them online. But please do yourself a favor and read them because Turkey will play an important role. Erdogan is known to be an ardent hater of the Israeli state, and he wants to be the leader of the Muslim world. Now, of course, he may never become that way, but that's what he wants to do. So all of this is extremely important in the light of what is happening right now. So please continue viewing our programs. Thank you very much for doing it today. Please request our free booklets. And until next time, this is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch program. Standing Watch is a presentation by The Church of the Eternal God, P.O. Box 270519, San Diego, California, 92198. More information is also available at our website, eternalgod.org.